Clayton Howard is suing his former friend, 22-year-old Esteban Morales, for a loan to buy back a car he'd sold. Mr. Morales, I'm going to start with you, sir. How do you know the plaintiff? I used to work with him at Home Depot. For how long? Uh, I worked with him for two years. You became friends? Yes. Who do you live with? I live with my father. And who do you live with, sir? My parents. Mr. Howard gave you some money. Uh, no. Or, if we could rephrase that, he, uh... I said to you, Mr. Howard gave you some money. Yes. I don't have to rephrase it. That's English, what I'm saying. Mr. Correct. Howard gave you some money. Yes. When did he give you money? Not exactly sure on the date. Give me the month and year. 2016. May? The month of May? So, almost two years ago. Yes. Is that what you're telling me? Yes. How much money did he give you? He initially was $1,000. For what? I was in a situation where, um... I was kind of in a process of, I, I sold the car, and this car wasn't passing smog. So the person who bought the car off of me requested to, for me to take the car back from him. At the time, I used the money that I sold the car. Um, you used I, the money, you didn't have the money. I didn't have the money because I bought another car. But then I was in an accident with the car that I bought. I wrecked and totaled it. So I didn't have that car or the money to get that car back. The money to buy back the car that you sold that couldn't be smogged. Correct. So Mr. Howard gave you $1,000. Mr. Howard suggested and came with me to go meet this person. He had told me, um, I, let's see if I can have a word with him and maybe we can figure something out. So Clayton came with me, drove up with me to Miramar. We both got out of the car. We spoke to the guy and the guy told me um, the car is not passing smog. No, I got the whole story. Um, How much money did Mr. Howard give the gentleman to get the car back? $800. And what did you do with the car? I told Clayton, this is your car. I mean, what do you want to do with it? He said to me, keep no, it. No, he doesn't want the car. He was helping you because otherwise you were going to be in trouble. Exactly. So... Okay, so when you drove to Miramar, mm -hmm. in whose car did you drive? Clayton's. Clayton's. So Clayton had a car. Correct. So what do you need your car for? Um, well, do you have I... a spare car? Well, I, just, I mean, since he used that money... No, I... let's say he gave you that money... Correct. ...to keep you out of trouble. Yes, Your Honor. Because that's the money he wants back. Yes. Did this transaction take place two years ago? Approximately. It was um, the, actually in December of 2015, he needed a cell phone. So I went to the Sprint... Shh, shh, shh. I don't care about a cell phone. I'm not dealing with cell phone. I'm dealing with this money. What I want to know, Mr. Howard, is what took you two years to get your money back? I uh, just... You know, I'm just a good... I just, you know, was just going to wait. You know, he lost his job, so he just didn't have the money. You know, every time I would ask him for it, he would, you know, send me, you know, vulgar text messages every time that I, I brought like, that up. I would like to see those. So I'm going to come back to you, Mr. Morales. Yes. Mr. Howard gave the person to whom you sold the car that couldn't be smogged Eight hundred dollars. Yes. What did you do with the car? So the no, no, no. Look oh. here. Sorry, Your Honor. What did you do with the car? I drove the car home. You drove it. I did. Drove it to, to whose home? My home. And then I parked it um, outside in the street, in the sidewalk of my house. The car, uh, it. I wasn't driving it. It had a bad tire, so it was about a, the tire was about to pop. So I let it sit. Um, I was. I was in the process of looking for a new job, so wasn't really driving anywhere. I woke up one morning, I saw a ticket on the windshield uh, for the registration had gone out. So it became an expense, and um, I, I got, saw the ticket, and I figured I got to get rid of I have to get rid of this car. So I sold, the, I sold the car. Sold the car to whom? To a junkyard. I called the junkyard. Um, they, they came. What month? Did you sell the car to the junkyard? I'm not... And then I'm going to ask you what junkyard, so be careful. I'm not exactly sure. Well, then let's think carefully. Okay. This happened in May yes. of 2016. Yes. When did you sell the car to the junkyard? I believe, I'm going to say July, because it sat for about two months outside so of my house. So you had the car May, June, and you drove it. I drove it. You drove yes. it. Yes. And then you junked it. Yes. Now, when for the first time did Mr. Howard ask you for this $800 back? Clayton had, uh, he had asked me for this money. Um, when, I, when I got rid of the vehicle, I, I, I sold it for those $800, or for the, the $100. The junkyard had given me that money, so I drove over to Clayton's house, and I, I told him, Clayton, um, this is what I got from that car that you purchased, and... He didn't purchase a car! <laughs>